Hello, hello, hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. Um, you know, I like to keep y'all up to date on some information. My last video was on exposing yourself in the workplace. And this was focusing, focused on the man because women don't do that. So, I want to give you an update to that video. You know, most of y'all men think that's your prerogative to be able to do uh, you're supposed to be able to whip it out anywhere and just do what you got to do zip up and get on and pull on off um, In trucking that is a bad thing in trucking um, As a commenter mentioned uh, he brought up a good point um, One of my commenters on the last video mentioned uh, he said that is exactly the reason why that Walmart doesn't like you the trucks on their store lots and that is the reason. You know, truckers uh, used to look forward to, uh, if you couldn't get to the truck stop, you'd find a nearby Walmart and whip up and then shut down. Uh, some of them have designated truck area parking. And some of them will just let you park there and don't bother you. And then the rest of them, they, they, but there's quite a few now. As, uh, they have the signs of no truck parking, but they would, they would let you park there. Even though they had that up there. Because truckers still parked there anyway. But now they're starting to enforce that. When I was out, they were enforcing it. And it was all because of your truckers and your nasty little habits. You want to use the restroom, throw your trash and everything around your truck out there in the Walmart parking lot. That is a place of business. And most Walmarts are open quite late. So you have ample time to go in there and use the restroom all up until the time they close. Now, after they close, if you have to go, then you just had to make do on the truck like we all did. Most had a cup. I heard some guys had a bucket. I will never, ever, ever, ever do that. I will never, ever do that. No, no I can't. I can't do that. It never happened. So, but this is an update to uh, the landfill life. Where the guys seem to think that's because they're outdoors and sh catching the breeze, supposed to be able to whip up and expose yourself and use the bathroom on the side of your truck, front of your truck, back of the trailer where you think nobody's looking. But see, when you pull into a landfill, you just never know. See, I operate a tipper, they move our tipper around, they can be moved every day. And we just never know where it's going to be placed. And I could taxi up in there come up the hill and pull in there on the side where you were using the bathroom like what happened yesterday I pulled in had to go right past the guy while he was using the bathroom and most of y'all get ahead they just don't look no it's not that quite simple so like I said the landfill had in, uh, informed me that uh, had an inspector been out there and saw that I was told they can be fined for that catching you using the restroom out there up there in the tipper area that's what I was told now, what I have update information come from safety they self out at the landfill. This is going to be a shocker, and I bet this will keep your, your shit in your pants after hearing this. Uh, speaking with the safety up there, and I'm quite aware that it's hard for those guys up there to catch those guys doing that because they got the bulldoze the trash we bring up there. And so usually when they bulldoze and they back behind the tipper in that area over there, they're not out where the trucks are coming up at after they done dumped and over to the clean out area to see this kind of stuff. Unless they're in their eyesight, which they, nine times out of ten they're not. Unless they uh, just happen to be cutting across the uh, yard there. So, I was given some shocking information that what else can happen? If you, as a man, get ex caught exposing yourself using the restroom, I was told that they would have to place you on the sex offender registry. <gasps> That's right, you heard it from Dirty Trucking. You will be placed on the sex offender registry because you expose your private parts. Out and open, you in the place of business. They would have to add you to the sex offender registry, which will ruin your career and ruin your life. Now, after hearing this, and all of you all that thought you would just whip it out real quick, do you do in the place of business and pull off? 
I hope this gives you new light on my complaining of the situation. I'm not only looking out for my benefit because I don't want to see that. Even safety said they don't want to see that. Those guys that work out there don't want to smell piss in the tipper. Nobody wants to see that. When you've got female drivers coming in there, you can't be doing that. And you can't be doing that up in the landfill in the dumping area. There's places they provide for you to use the use restroom and it's usually labeled bathroom. Men, women. That's usually the designated place that they provide for you. If you out in a place of business and you can't use their restroom in the building or they have none, they usually provide porta potties now. Rather they're clean. Uh, some of them I've seen some disgusting porta potties during my uh, employment here. Highly disgusting. That I wouldn't use it. I'd rather hold it and go find somewhere else to go. But see, this is what I don't understand. You already know you got to go to the bathroom. Now, and you already know how bad you got to go, or if it's not bad, that you can go up there and tip or dump and come on back down. But if you got to go extremely that bad, there's a porta potty on the entry. Why don't you pull your truck over and do that? Or if you can hold it, go up there, dump, clean your truck out, the trailer out, come back down, use the porta potty on exit. Don't expose yourself in a place of business because I have been informed that they will have to place you on the sex offender registry. All right, man. You've been told. You've been warned. Just because you ain't been on it, they've been nice just giving you warnings, coming over there saying something to you, telling you to stop. But what if you want them honorary ones? They just keep doing it because ain't nobody doing nothing to you. Oh, shut up. Get her ass out of here. She complained too damn much. No. There's consequences for what you do. You cannot do that in the workplace. Once again, I was informed today. If they get caught out there exposing themselves, they can be placed on the sex offender registry. And I've told uh, he doesn't want to do that. That's why they've been talking to you. But if you keep being a repeat offender and they keep having to say something to you, now they, they can bar you from the landfill. And if need be, hey, they can place you on a sex offender registry, which will ruin your life. You heard it here first from Dirty Trucking. Keep your zip. Keep your dick in your pants. Not in your hand. On the landfill. Exposing yourself. It's a time and place for everything. And the place of business, that ain't the time to be whipping it out, pissing. Now, y'all don't think this fun and games if you want to, man. Uh, get her out of here. She talking about keep up a bunch of shit. No, this is for your own benefit. I know that, and I'm a female. Now, you keep walking around here thinking that pulling your dick out, shit is cute, what you get to do because you a man. You can't do that in a place of business. Once again, I have been informed that if they catch you, they can place you on a sex offender registry because you have exposed yourself. You have your private part out pissing. You heard it from Dirty Trucking first. Peace out.